Hey guys, my name is Rudy. Today we're going to be building an app with responsive design with Flutter. This is part of our Flutter Take 5 series. If you want to uh, grab the project we're working on, all these videos work together so you can look at the last video and get to this point or look down in the description to grab the project. All right, first of all, um, if we see what we built, we just built a simple app with a single screen that has a scaffold. Now this is great for mobile applications, but what about when you want to target uh, desktop and especially tablet? So uh, another nice tip is when you're working with Flutter development, um, I would suggest trying to build it with the desktop tooling because it allows you to have hot reload, develop really quickly, and to test all your different designs in a uh, very fast manner. I mean, I found layout bugs in seconds after um, working with the, the desktop stuff that you just don't see when you're developing on mobile. So uh, to get started, we want to define some variables for us to use. So inside of our UI folder, let's do um, create a file called breakpoints. And inside there, let's go ahead and give some variables. So I'm gonna do tab, tablet breakpoint. Let's do 720, and let's also do desktop. Let's give it 1440. Awesome. So now if we, and let's move this to the top level UI folder. So you see we have UI and then home. Okay, and now we want to wrap our scaffold with a layout builder. So let's go ahead and do that. So let's do there. Perfect. And then let's create a new uh, file here at the top called tabs. And Go ahead and import material and we're going to create a new screen called um, tab home we're going to make this our new home for our widgets and this will be our, our navigation as it were so uh, let's also create a new file or new folder called settings Give it a file inside there called screen.dart. Um, this will have the same as that. So we can do port material. Let's go ahead and copy this. And then let's also give it one more tab. Um, let's say about screen.dart. And like I said, everything will be in the description. Let's go ahead and rename it. All right, perfect. Now that we have those two screens, let's go back to our tabs. And um, here we also want a layout builder. So let's go ahead and return our default mobile case. So this will be a scaffold with an app bar, actually no app bar, a bottom navigation bar. Give it some items. Let's give it a current index. Let's go ahead and make this a stateful widget since we need a current index for this. And let's add it here. Give the on tap property. And if I'm going too fast, you can always uh, slow down the videos and see, uh, go at your own pace. So here we're going to add a couple different navigation bar items. So let's give it a title. Let's call this uh, home. Let's give it an icon. Let's give it the home icon. Let's give it some more tabs about and settings and the appropriate icons for that. OK, 
Okay, perfect. Now we need for, let's also change this type. So we wanna do bottom navigation bar type of fixed and let's give it the background color of the theme. Scaffold background color, perfect. For the body, we're gonna create an index stack. This allows us to um, kind of reuse our widgets without having to rebuild them every time. So we're gonna need our home screen, our about screen, and our settings screen. Perfect. Um, we also need the current index. It's important that these are always the same. All right, perfect. We can use, once we have this, this is good. So once we have this, we can also kind of abstract out what we need. Um, so I'm going to extract this method since we're using it multiple times and we're gonna call it build body. Perfect. And we're also gonna be doing this one a lot. So let's call this one on tap. And we can actually make this inherited. Perfect. Okay, awesome. So the next thing we wanna do is create our tablet. So we're gonna do if dimensions dot max width is greater or equal to K tablet. This is the one we just made earlier. This is gonna be our tablet view. Now, what, we, what do we want to have on the tablet? Well, we probably wanna have like a navigation rail on the side. Um, we still want our app bar at the top, uh, which will be coming from the children, but then the content will be here. So we want to return a material since we wanna have a top level material widget. Uh, let's give it a child, a row. Let's give it some children. And we're going to, let's give it a navigation rail. This is the, just got recently merged into the master. So if you don't see this, you can always uh, switch uh, to the new master channel. Let's give it a current index. Let's define the on tap which is what we did earlier. And let's give it some destinations. These are very similar to the bottom navigation bar items, but we can still add them here. So we have, actually we can go ahead and rename those. And I think we just change this to label. Perfect. And let's go ahead and create an expanded. This will fill in the remaining and we're gonna do build body. Perfect. So now uh, we have that, uh, but what about uh, desktop? And remember it's important to do these in the right order. So here we're gonna do if dimensions.max width is greater than equal to K desktop. Now we want to return the desktop. Let's also add another variable in here. Well, actually we can keep it in there since it's only gonna be local, but um, here we do const K side menu width. Let's give it 250. And now we're going to return uh, another material widget. Give it a child. Uh, this time, we will give it a row as well. Um, but this time, we're going to return a container with a width of this and then a child of a list view. So it's scrollable. And the children will be these items, except this will be list tiles. And this will make sense in a second. So there's a couple other things we have to add, but um, I'll come back to that. So let's do this as leading. We need to add a is selected property, which is current index is equal to zero, current index is equal to one, and current index is equal to two. Awesome, so we can also copy this since we'll also have an expanded here. And that 
looks good. And we also need the on tap. So this will be on tap. This is why we abstracted it out earlier. Get it zero. And if you're curious, I created packets that makes this a lot easier. But in this case, we're just writing it out. So we have our body, we have our width, our material. Awesome, so now we have an adaptive scaffold. Now let's go into each one of these and just quickly um, flesh them out. Actually here we can remove this layout builder for simplicity's sake. Um, and let's copy this over just so we can kind of see what we're dealing with. In later videos, I'm gonna go over how you can make uh, master detail and different types of responsiveness. All right, so home screen, and let's change this to about screen. All right, let's go ahead and run it. Go ahead and create a launch configuration and run. Now, just going back over what I did, basically, uh, we define all of our children in here for our navigation. We have our breakpoints file, which defines our breakpoints. We have our various screens. And then we just call that from the main, um, which allows us to uh, return to our tab screen. Now, it'll make sense why we did this um, this way right now, because later on, we can still reuse all these screens individually that the title, the app bar, for example, is not bound to the tabs. Um, the only thing this does is provide a navigation for the application. So here we have, let's start off with mobile. And if we stretch it out, we have a navigation rail, which real quick, we can change this to be, um, let's change this navigation rail to look the same as tab. So we can go down here, get on a navigation rail, and we'll do uh, label type, which is this navigation rail type of all. And we see it's so fast to hot reload these changes. Um, and we have this on the side. And if we stretch it out even further, we now have um, our list tiles. You can still select them and you see it changes up here on the, the left. If we bring in the navigation rail, still works. And if we bring it even further, we have this down here. Awesome. So stay tuned for the next video. We're gonna take this uh, one step further.